Okay, hi everyone, this is Willie. I'm with Wendy today from Moonlight Jewelry. Uh, we are here to talk about the recent impact of COVID-19 on um, her business. So, hi Wendy. Hi Willie. Hi. Nice uh, meeting you here today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice meeting you. Thanks for your time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so uh, actually we just want to find out from you, like how has the recent uh, COVID-19 right, impact your business? Uh, definitely, it has affected my business significantly. Uh, as we can see from last week and until this week, we don't really have uh, working customers. So um, we can foresee, you know, in the coming few months, the business will definitely be, you know, uh, impacted uh, quite badly. Yeah. So before before this whole uh, COVID nineteen, right? Uh, how how is business usually like? We have a lot of working during lunch hour because we are situated in a financial centre. Uh, financial district so we have a lot of uh, bankers lawyers oil broker oil traders you know during lunch hour they will come here without fail you know to check out our things and uh, in the past few weeks basically there's no working customer very few and then uh, people just they're not in a you know um, mood to, to come in to buy things probably they're also scared of virus so we see the business is you know it's, it's dropping actually so how uh, have you been reaching out to your customer before and after, you know, since like after COVID-19 has, has uh, become so uh -huh. prevalent today? Yeah. yeah. So how, how has your marketing or uh -huh. your reaching out to your customer changed so far? Uh, prior to the, the COVID-19, right, uh, we have uh, regular clients and they always uh, drop by and then say hi to us. You know, of course, they're going to buy something. And then also we have a lot of working during the lunch hour, like 12 to 2 o'clock, we have a lot of working customers. Um, they, you know, so we, we never worry about business. You know, it just, uh, uh, it's easy to have customers, easy to close to use, you know. But now with the COVID-19, right, um, even regular customers, they don't come here that often because they're also um, you know, frightened to, to come and shop around. And also because in this district, a lot of the customers, our regulars, they're actually currently working from home. So it's like, it's such a, you know, trouble for them to come all the way, you know, to, to town area to, to make a purchase, unless it's so necessary, right? That's why I think that's one of the key reasons, people working from home, you know, of affecting our business. That's the reason, the uh, key reason, yeah. So, uh, all right, all, in fact, I think m most business, all business will be very concerned about cost as well. Mm. So in terms of cost, how are you managing it? Cost-wise, uh, we try to talk to the landlord. Uh, for us, I think the rental and some insurance, you know, security or this thing. We try, try to talk to the landlord, uh, see whether they can reduce the rental. I think uh, because in my building, most of the landlords are individual landlords. It's not like a big, uh, you know, company or government, you know, authorities or this thing. So it's a little bit difficult to, to negotiate, you know, on the, the rental. So cost-wise, we didn't really... Um, I mean, on this part, rental part, we didn't really, um, you know, uh, get our rental deducted. But on the other hand, we tried to cut down our purchase because uh, previously uh, we have um, suppliers from overseas, like uh, from Brazil, from uh, Africa, from Sri Lanka, from everywhere, all over the world. They will come here to meet us and then show us the goods or something like that. But now, um, situation like this, right, we try to cut down our uh, purchase. So that's, that's one way to save our cost. Yeah, we have no choice. But uh, I guess uh, this is going to take a while more before, yeah. before things return to normal or people start mm -hmm. to get used to it, right? Yes. So, um, but in terms of, uh, have you thought about like say, uh, mm. exposing your, your, your products mm. uh, to, to, to your customers over an online platform, perhaps? Uh, we have uh, quite established uh, Instagram and Facebook uh, mm. Uh, platforms uh, since a few years back already we have uh, regular followers also um, previously we only showcase you know those items that we have already sold but um, I think starting from recently we try to showcase something that you know is valuable in the shop and then customer get to know what is because you know they, they are away from shopping right so we need to show them what we have in the shop and uh, what are the new items that we have uh, currently so by showing in our, on our platforms at the same time, uh, our major customers still are those are regulars. You know, major business income are still from the regular customers. So recently, I have started to send out all the new items in video, in, in a very high resolution video, and uh, as well as the photos of our new products to our regular customers. 
So we managed to, to sell quite a lot of uh, big items, you know, by sending all the photos, all this thing to the regular customers. Okay. Yeah, sometimes they just make a payment um, once they see the things, and then they will pick up once they come back to office to work. One of the, these days, you know, they just pick up the things like that. So, so they actually yeah. can purchase a jewelry, jewelry uh, yeah. without actually wearing it? Or, no. You know, they just, they just see it online, on a video? No, yeah. They, they want me to, normally, they, like yesterday also, I sent out something to my regular customers. It's been regular for many years with, with me, so they trust my taste. And I also understand them, what, what they actually need, like what color stones they're actually looking for, what kind of style um, suits them. So when I have some new items, which I think uh, is suitable for a certain customer, I'll send to her, and then uh, she will ask me to wear and show them. So basically from there, they will just make a purchase. It's a trust, you know, it's a trust built throughout many years. Okay. Yeah. So it seems like even in these tough times, you mm. you have figured in a your own way mm. to uh, yeah really make your customer comfortable in, in buying over mm. an online platform. Yeah, but a lot of efforts like compared with last mm. time, you know they can just drop by and have lunch with me and then just pick up something, right? Now a lot of efforts because I have to um, have some you know very good light box and then to shoot some pictures of my products and then to send them to to showcase you know myself being the model to show them so a lot of efforts compared with last time you know uh, I have a lot of working customers as well a lot of my customers um, they, they got to know us from word of mouth you know they, they can actually uh, come and see us you know visit us whenever they, they are free but now we don't have this kind of customers anymore so efforts you know the focus is on the regular customers definitely is affecting the business now yeah so maybe Maybe forward, moving forward, you'll probably be more online as well since you're already doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah? So you can reach out to more customers. That's why we are here as well. Mm -hmm. We hope we can bring you more exposure and uh, maybe you can show us a few items that you have sold via your online platform without uh, them actually wearing it. Uh, some have already been picked up. Um, oh. Yeah, <laughs> they have already picked up. There's one earring. Mm -hmm. Where is it? This, this uh, long earring, we just showed the customer. Ah. Uh, this is five carat diamonds, a long earring. We just showed the customer online and the customer just purchased it. Mm. And then she hasn't picked up yet. Oh. So a few other big items, um, customer already picked up. Once they saw and then they make payment, right? They transfer already. They will, ladies are like that, you know, mm. they want to quickly pick it up. So mostly I uh, picked up already, but this one is still here because we just I just showed her recently. Ah. Yeah, so she's uh, coming to, to pick up. Uh, so for ladies, this is like a necessity, right? Yeah, <laughs> they, they like it. Yeah, some of them still have purchasing power, you know. Yeah. They're working from home. It's, it's quite inconvenient for them to travel all the way to the office to, yeah. to shop. But the, of course, you know, as ladies, right, they're still they're quite keen in all those things, right? Okay. You know, ladies are like that, right? <laughs> so once they see already, then, you know, they will just, uh, I mean, trust, la, they trust mm. my taste also. I just uh, uh, wore and show them and then mm. they just make a purchase like that. Yeah, something okay. like this. Mm. So do you have any more of these uh, earrings that you're uh, currently selling? We or? have a lot of things, actually. Mm. Uh, we have a lot of new items also, uh, mostly are in safe. So oh. we cannot just showcase a lot of things because we already have a few hundred items here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we cannot showcase too many things. Yeah. Any in particular that you think worth mentioning to our audience or how do you actually, um, you know, you can share with us like mm. how to tell mm. which are the better ones, uh. um, value for money kind? Okay, I, I think uh, depending on uh, how uh, sophisticated the, the audience are yeah. uh, some audience probably they are investors they know gemstones very well they will go for um, like rubies uh, like paraiba you know all the um, collectible items yeah. but for most of the um, audience I would say maybe they are quite new to color stones because we specialize in color stone yeah. we have 3000 color stones on hand compared with most of the jewelers um, I do not know whether they hold stock, but for us, we physically hold a few thousand uh, gemstones with us. So anytime customer come to our shop, they it's difficult for them to walk away because there are just so many choices for them to, to okay. make. They are pampered with all the choices. So most of the customer like coming for us, uh, coming to us for um, engagement ring or something like that, mm. or for some buyer or whatever, they will go for sapphire, smaller piece. Okay. Yeah, smaller piece uh, or rubies. Rubies, emeralds, sapphires are our top uh, uh, sale item. Okay. So people come here, uh, you know, they will find smaller items. But for collectors, we have a lot of collectors, like lawyers, 
uh, oil traders, oil broker, entrepreneurs, yeah, top bankers, they will come here to look for bigger pieces like rubies, emerald. We saw a lot of emeralds um, last month. Uh, we saw a lot of rubies last year as well. All those are our top sailors. So they come here, they will pick up the bigger items and high value items. Yeah, so we educate our customers. It's quite difficult to tell you, okay, what are those top uh, quality items? Gemstone need to, you need to see it physically. You need to touch it physically. Mm -hmm. Then uh, with our you know, expertise, we're willing to, willing to teach our customer um, on the spot. Then we tell you how to, because we have so many stones, we can just show you, okay, which one is the top quality one, which, which one is the lesser, um, you grade. know, yeah, lesser, you know, lower grade. Lower grade. So we'll just show you and slowly you learn before you purchase. Oh. So the customer feel comfortable because all these things are high value items. Yeah. You need to be assured, you know, you need to be comfortable before you make a purchase. Okay. So we do education, gemstone educations. Yeah. I see, I yeah. see. Anytime, just give me a call or mm. give me a message and just tell me you want to come down to be educated. We are very happy to, you know, to, to give you free education. So we are at uh, level 3 of the arcade. Yeah, so at, 309. Yeah. You, you won't miss it because it's in Sapphire, Sapphire Blue, uh, you know, renovation kind of style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Royal Blue kind of style, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yep, that's all for today. Mm. Uh, Thank you, Wendy, again for your time and Thank your you. sharing. Yeah. yeah, actually, she got me all interested in like coming and to take a extra look and to learn more about it. Because yeah. uh, I think we are all like we have seen stones before, but it's just that we really cannot tell them apart and, yeah. and even like see whether I'm paying too much or or, yeah. or I'm getting a good value right. deal or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to be educated because gemstone is not it's not like through one lesson or two lessons you can you can pick up everything. There are a lot of um, you know. Um, technical knowledge inside you need to come down personally feel the stones because we have so many stones like sapphire we can straight away show you 500 pieces in this store we have safe behind so we have many pieces here we can just tell you which one is which grade which one is what color and clarity or you know whatever quality we can show you and then you understand okay what you are buying and how much um uh, the, the particular stone is worth yeah so you, you have to come down and make an appointment with us yeah we'll be happy to teach you Okay, you all got that. Happy to teach you. So do check this uh, yeah. uh, Moonlight Jewelry now. Mm. At and the arcade. At the arcade, yeah. right? And with Raffles, Wendy. Raffles Place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video, alright? Okay, bye. Thank you. See ya. <laughs>